So instead of it being play, instead of it being free, instead of it being absorbing and so forth, it becomes work, it becomes the outcome. We start looking for the end. The end justifies the means. We're now looking for success. And it's going to be measured in money, power, fame, whatever it might be. That's part of the problem. That's maybe the significant problem that I see. And so it's really no longer liberal in that sense of free for its own sake. And because of that, I see it affecting our entire society. We've come to take it for granted. I can't tell you how many people that I speak around the country about this will say to me, but, well, you know, what can I do? Well, I have some suggestions. Um, and I'm going to give you my call to action. Sometimes when people call to actions, you know, they give you just a few very global, general things. And I may start off that way, but I'm going to just list a few of these. Be a model of virtue when watching, playing, or coaching sports. Use the language of virtue to identify and reinforce virtuous acts with athletes, coaches, and parents. Be love, not work or progress oriented. In Space Salve, which addresses this, we should be motivated by love who is a person in Jesus Christ, rather than by progress, which is an abstract idea, empty of meaning. Focus on local neighborhood and parish sport rather than traveling. Think of the travel, the destruction to the family just in traveling around driving people. I grew up in the Bronx. You went downstairs and played. You know, your mother couldn't get you to come in. You know, it's like, I'll be there in a minute. You know, I got another game. One more play, one more play. I mean, you know, they didn't have to tell you to play. You know, you went out, you made up the rules, you played, and you played till you dropped, and you wouldn't come in. But I think part of the problem is we're so organized now. It's work. See, we've got worker, we've got it organized, we've got uniforms, we've got teams, we've got rosters, you've got to get this, you get here, you've got to drive all the way over there to get to it. Parents sit there. Parents are now spectators. Can you imagine my parents sitting down on the wall in the Bronx watching me play football? I don't think so. They didn't see me jump. I think my dad, the first time he thought about that, when he heard that I made the Olympic trials, he said, oh, I heard you made the Olympic trials. I mean, I, 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 wow, dad, you know, you, you know I'm in athletics, huh? This is good. You know? um, all team meals should offer a blessing, preferably by the coach. Use biblical and liturgical prayer before games. Um, coaches and parents, examples of frequent confession and mass. Just by your example, just by being there, by, by your athletes seeing that you go to confession on a regular basis. You know, they begin to ask, what the heck is that? You know, why, why are you doing that? Not that you need it. Um, choose words prudently, not have to, must, should, but want, want to. Shake hands with a meaning and purpose. It drives me crazy at the end of games. The people who lost are like depressed. You know, they go down like the line. You know, the handout, like this. Right? What is that? You know, the people who want are up, like looking at the stands of mom and dad or whoever it is, and they're not even looking at the person. If you're gonna shake hands with somebody, shake their hands, look them in the eye, and say something. Say something good. You know, good game. Whatever you want to say. But acknowledge the person, shake their hands, and mean what you say. Never use foul, vulgar, or abusive language, and never tolerate it in anyone. And finally, I'd like you to memorize and make the following quote your mission statement of sport. And it goes like this. Sport, properly directed, develops character, makes a man courageous, a generous loser, and a gracious victor. It refines the senses, gives intellectual penetration, and steals the will to endurance. It is not merely a physical development then. Sport rightly understood is an occupation of the whole man. And while perfecting the body is an instrument of the mind, it also makes the mind itself a more refined instrument for the search and communication of truth and helps man to achieve that end to which all is must be subservient, the service and praise of his creator. That is an address given by Pope Pius XII, Sport at the Service of the Spirit, written in 1945. That should be the mission statement of every, certainly Catholic, athletic sport organization in the country. But I've gone all over the country and I've had people come up to me, every faith you can imagine, said, where can I get that quote? because they know it's true. When we hear truth, we know it. So I challenge you to go out today, do some of those things. If you're a grandparent or a parent or you're just going to a game or maybe you're assisting coaching or whatever it might be, do these things. Talk about these things because it's too late by the time they get to me. You know, 18 years of not having proper formation is really hard to overcome. And I'm sure I could talk to the high school and say, well, gee, by the time they get to high school, if they don't have it, it's really pretty tough, too. So that is what we need to do. We need to change things and we need to do something about it. We can change this, but it takes action. We need to do something about it. We can no longer sit back and say, I don't like this. It's not good. Do something. Start today. Thank you for listening to me and God bless you.